Issuing a warning for Asia-Pacific economies, the Asian Development Bank has said the economic growth of the 45 countries in the region is likely to be wiped out because of lockdown measures applied to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. ADB said developing region is expected to post growth of just 0.1% in 2020, its weakest growth in the last 60 years, and likely to report growth of 6.2% in 2022. The updated forecast shows a more damage to economic uh, de in developing Asia than estimates that it released in April, which predicted 2.2% growth for the region in 2020. Now, the bank's chief economist has warned that lifting of lockdown measures would not help in rapid growth this year, as selected economic sector would restart the economy. The institution sees a V-shaped recovery next year for Asian Pacific nations, only if they are successfully preventing the further waves of infections. ADB's outlook for China this year also turned grimmer. It now expects growth in the world's second largest economy to slow to 1.8% from an earlier forecast of 2.3%. Citing depressed demand and lower oil prices, the ADB said inflation for developing Asia will ease to 2.9% this year and slow down further to 2.4% next year. Tensions are at an all-time high between the United States and China. Both countries stood firm with high-level talks taking place in Hawaii. The United States is now pressing China over two main issues, its treatment of the Uyghur Muslims and China eroding the autonomy of Hong Kong. This comes as U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with senior Chinese officials at a military base in Hawaii. This is the highest level meeting between the countries since the coronavirus pandemic broke out. Now, according to the U.S. State Department, Pompeo stressed on the need to fully reciprocal dealings between the two nations across commercial security and diplomatic interactions. He also stressed the need for full transparency and information sharing in order to combat the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and prevent future outbreaks. But just as Pompeo met with Chinese officials, Trump signed an act cracking down on China over its treatment of the Uyghur Muslims. This bill now imposes sanctions on Chinese officials involved in the detention of Uyghur Muslims. The bill is intended to send China a strong message on human rights. China has hit back at these sanctions, calling it a malicious attack on the country. In a statement by the Chinese Foreign Ministry, China said, and I quote, We again urge the U.S. side to immediately correct its mistakes and stop using the Xinjiang-related law to harm China's interests and interfere in China's internal affairs. Otherwise, China will resolutely take countermeasures and all the consequences arising must be fully borne by the United States." Quote. And not just that, Pompeo and his G7 counterparts have now issued a strong statement against Hong Kong's controversial security law. The G7 statement voices grave concern about this law that prohibits subversion and other perceived offenses in the financial hub. The joint statement by Britain, Canada, France, Germany, Italy and Japan, as well as the United States, strongly urged the government of China to reconsider this decision. But Beijing has made it clear that it will continue to push ahead with this law. The Foreign Ministry has said that Beijing's determination to introduce the law was unwavering. Now, China also denounced the statement by the G7 foreign ministers.